my beautiful Aquarians! Welcome back to Lion Gates Heart Tarot. This is your read for July part one. I hope you are well. Right. Oh, we've begun. Bear with. So we have Transformation and Dragonfly. Blimey, Charlie. Wowzers. Right, what else do we have for our beautiful, beautiful Aquarians? Very partial to Aquarians myself. I do love Aquarians. <laughs> I love all star signs, but oh, have confidence. So you're having this transformation, guys. So we have transformation. Reach out for the power and strength to make changes. Enrich your life and become the person you want to be. Absolutely. Dragonfly. Have confidence during this time of great joy, renewal and connection to spirit. And we have have confidence. Moving forward does not necessarily require you to have confidence in yourself. Confidence in God is enough, along with knowing that God works through you and with you in all ways. Lean upon us if your confidence wavers and boy your courage and faith. Boom. So they're saying, reach out to them, guys. This transformation is taking place and you need to have confidence in yourself during this time. Know who you are. Wear your badge just as you should. You should, should never apologise for being who you are because you are epic and you are beautiful, my beautiful Aquarians. Right, let's get six major cards. We are all unique. If we're all the same, wouldn't life be boring? We should shine brightly because we are individuals. We have free will and you get to choose. So in the past energies, we have the Page of Cups. And can I have five more, please, Angel Spirit Guides? Five more. Our beautiful, beautiful Aquarians. Woo! We're flying. We have in current. Which way? It fell that way. Yeah, Queen of Swords in reverse. What else? Don't know what the heck that is, Angel Spirit Guides. What is the bum bum song? Right, wow. See how you're changing that vibration? When you have confidence, I can see a lack of confidence here, could slap your bum. Right, let's have some clarifiers for the Page of Cups. Okie dokie, and Queen of Swords in reverse. Any more? Yeah. Okie dokie, bear with me, angels. You work faster than me. I'm only human. We have the Ace of Wands and the Four of Swords. Brilliant to see. King of Cups. King of Cups, please. Thank you. What else? Boom. That's in your hidden influence. Just saying. Knight of Wands in obstacle. Moving forward, why is it an obstacle? Because you've been fighting and blocking energy. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Get why it's an obstacle. Thank you. Lovers in what you should do. Lovers in what you should do. Some more info, please. Thank you so much. Be bold, be strong. You got a little surprise coming to you. Ooh. Probably related to family. Okie dokie. Right, seven of pentacles, ten of pentacles, six of swords and the empress. Oh my goodness. Any for this? I mean, that's a read in itself. Do you want any? Yeah. Okie dokie. On a mission of the heart. Okay, at the bottom of one pack, we have the knight of pentacles. So this is a slow going effort, but it's telling you to go, go, go for it. And we have the Seven of Swords. Right, my beautiful Aquarians, I'm going to grab my drink, just adjust slightly, and we shall begin. Okay, my beautiful Aquarians, you need to have confidence within this transformational time. You know, you're transforming. Reach out for the higher powers and strength to make changes. Enrich your life and become the person you want to be. You create your own reality. Be bold, be proud and be true to you. Have confidence during this time of the great joy, renewal and connection to spirit. So use tuning in and having confidence. I mean, we've said confidence, right? 
You've got changes, confidence, confidence, confidence. Everything is confidence. You need to stand in your domain power and control, okay? And I'm giving you a Lauren kick up the bum right now because you need to know who you are. You need to release your source energy. And I can see you absolutely do. But this having confidence in your path moving forward and what you're working towards, you need to believe in it. When you put that vibrational frequency out there, having confidence in you is a direct current, okay? It's a direct current of frequency. And that changes the dynamics around you. So let's get into your read and I'll explain as we go. We'll start with past energies. So you've had, you've had a message, okay? It can upskill you. It can be a message from family and it's telling you that it's telling you that you have to balance your energies with the temperance there. You know, temperance is patience, it's healing, it's moderation. You felt defeated in a battle almost, and this message could have really upskilled your energy. Now, what it's saying is it's hurt your heart. I get that because the temperance is rebalancing our heart energy there. And then we're going to the current. Now we have... This could be the person who's hurt your heart. This could be the situation. We have the Queen of Swords in reverse. So clarified with the Emperor, the Seven of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands and the Four of Swords. So what that's telling me, my beautiful Aquarians, because these are your major cards. Now you could have someone within your midst, but this could be like a jealousy type energy. You want to be the boss. You want this creation to take place, but your garden hasn't grown just yet. And you're looking at others in envy. Now, when we sit in that vibrational sense, then that's a projection of energy. And that's also a block mentality state. When you encourage others, and you will serve from the heart then that is a release of frequency this could be somebody you're having problems with at work um it can be a boss energy who's causing you to feel you need healing from it basically because they've upskittled your energy and it's hurt your heart and they're gossiping about you and all this so if that's the case remove them from your vibration and look for another job i'm going to say it as it is but if this is something you're working towards and you will hold the keys to the secrets of the universe then create it but what they're saying is you need balance and some r and r so when you have divine balance this is when you're going to gain clarity when you lay the swords down and stop that fight and this is a fight internally then you can get that clarity moving forward because if you're feeling you know that energy of jealous of other people and other people's actions and morals then that's a low frequency and you need to release that so laying your souls down and healing in the situation will allow you to create this and grow that garden further and that's what they're saying here now we have hidden influence we have the king of cups we have the page of swords and the fool so the hidden influence is you and your beautiful heart now remain balanced at all times because what it's saying here is you could have a message coming in now with the page of swords it's messages it's thoughts it's ideas it's communication intellect you know it's that sort of thing it can talk about using your mind and massive changes coming in your life you know important decisions have to be made and it can also talk about legal disputes during this time so if you've been having trouble at work and this woman has been horrible or this man has been horrible then you know legal disputes are probably there now the fool is saying take a leap of faith in yourself and have this new beginning this is a hidden influence this is following your heart in a situation with the king of cups and use your mind during this time that is what they're saying in hidden influence now we have obstacles we have obstacles with the knight of wands now the knight of wands is an energetic worker you've been blocking energy this could be with this person at work this could be this surrounded you've gained mastery during this time though we have the six of swords in reverse which tells me that's been delays and problems and success is yet to come it's an inability to see where you're going you're charging forward but you don't see where you're going and the king of pentacles now you could be with the king of pentacles but this talks about you know somebody helping you upon your quest this talks about a boss energy this is financial help and everything so this isn't an obstacle so if you're charging and you you want to make this money you're currently blindsided by something with the eight of swords in reverse this is frustration it's you can be taken out on others and taking this frustration because you want to charge forward but you feel like you're not going anywhere fast and it's for your pentacles and you feel frustrated during the situation but what you should do is lovers a decisive point has been met okay you need to be the young emperor and you need to be bold and powerful within this time this is growth this is work action this is foresight it's leadership explore the leadership side of yourself now you have got a surprise coming in with the page of cups this is a new seed of the heart it's like um messages it's the new stage sort of idea you're working through this new stage and it's creative okay you're inspiring others and it can mean a message from family coming in and absolutely and that's with the six of cups which is very much my family card 
And then we have death and transformation and we have the nine of swords. So what it says to me here is what you should do is make a make a decision, basically. Stand in your bold domain and power in the situation. Take action and foresight and absolutely blooming go for it. So you, a decisive point is there. You need to make a decision. You're going to have a surprise coming in and it can be something from childhood memories, childhood-like energy um, and family type dynamics because we've got the family card and that was very much my family card. And we're having a death and transformation. So a death and transformation means, you know, you could have lost somebody and it's caused your anxiety and that's what's actually holding you back during that time. But it also can mean like a transformation of self and when you release those past energies and this message allows you to let go of the past because something's been causing you sleepless nights and anxiety and it can be related to the mind here and what's happening is you know whatever keeps lowering your vibration is coming out in your dream state and when you're feeling vulnerable so a decisive point has been made but you need to change that frequency around you and have blooming confidence because you're going through a transformational sense and energy right now which is huge it's you know you're very fragile during this state when you're going to dragonfly type energy have confidence in you but allow this to happen it's release and surrender of energy you are growing and you're growing beautifully but allow the process i can see it can be causing you because we've got this huge transformation it can be causing you you know sleepless nights and worries but at the end of the day this needs to happen for you to get to your next chapter and progress with energy so allow because then we're going to the outcome which is phenomenal we've got the seven of pentacles so the seven of pentacles is waiting for the success, but you know you'll get eventual success. It's a change in frequency with the ten of pentacles, which is like your wealth, your happily ever after. The six of swords telling me that you're moving to calmer waters is earned success towards a brighter future. And it's a promising future. And it's something you've expressed into the world. This can mean a baby, absolutely. Um, and we have a cup of love there with the knight of cups. So you're following a mission of the heart and it could be a baby. It could mean you coming into some inheritance and some money because empress represents your abundance also but whatever you're birthing into the world is the right thing now we have on the bottom of one pack the knight of pentacles so this is the starting effort this is the new stage this is it can be frustrating but it's telling you to go 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 for it you know this is with the Knight of Pentacles, you can be slow going, but it's the mission of the material gain and manifestation that you're working towards. And you have to be savvy during this time and have confidence in yourself. And it is that simple, my beautiful Aquarius. It is that simple. This is all about you and your inner self and working through the the changes of frequency and removing yourself from situations which no longer serve you who are you now you're not the person you were yesterday to the person you're going to be tomorrow you're a frequency and you're a change of energy and you're growing and allow yourself to grow whatever the outcome is is going to calmer waters and it, it's just a progression of energy so there you go lots of love from me lauren if this is your read give me a thumbs up they're completely private if this is yours and you want to leave me a message and explain your story i love hearing from you so let me know in the comments below until next time my beautiful aquarians lots of love from my heart to yours and bye bye for now